This module will help you set up a development environment specifically to customize the starter store. This module talks about the tools and software required to start customization. In this lesson, we'll learn about the prerequisites for e-commerce development and customization. Before you start development, please ensure the following are installed in your development environment. Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 or 3, Microsoft Dynamics AX Retail Components, Microsoft SharePoint 2013, Visual Studio 2012 or 2013, Microsoft Office Developer Tools for Visual Studio 2012, SharePoint Client Components, and Retail SDK. After you have installed all the needed tools and components, you can start Visual Studio and open the services project or the storefront project that is installed as part of the retail SDK package. Now let's take a look at the folder where it's installed. Once the retail SDK is installed, if you navigate to the documents folder, you should see a folder called retail SDK. Let's go ahead and open that. Now there are two main folders in here. One, is the commerce runtime, the other is the online channel. Let's open online channel. And if I open the storefront solution, I can see the solution file in here. Let's go ahead and open it in Visual Studio 2012. I got it open here already. The storefront solution essentially has all the web controls that form part of the SharePoint solution for e-commerce. For example, all the web parts can be seen here under sharepoint.web.webparts. And the web services can be seen here under sharepoint.web.services. Let's go ahead and open one of those. And you can see the code for that. Now let's take a look at the CRT solution. Let's go back to documents, retail SDK, commerce runtime, and services. Let's open the solution file. Using Microsoft Visual Studio 2012. This solution contains all the services that are provided as part of the commerce runtime. You can use these services to customize the, the functionality of the commerce runtime. Before compiling the source code, you must provide your own code signing key file. You can reuse your company's key file or create a new strong name file for the purpose of signing the customized code. Let's take a look at the steps for signing the assembly. Create a new strong name key. Save the strong name key in retail SDK folder. Extract the thumbprint. Add version and thumbprint to update assemblies identities.ps1. Execute the PowerShell script. In this module, you learned about the development environment requirements, such as tools and software required to start development and signing of assemblies. I'll see you in the next module where we'll talk about branding the e-commerce site.